We are at Lina Blueberry Farms. We're here to visit with Susan and Lina who left their corporate jobs to start this farm and they found a life that they love here. It's blueberry harvest time in Lithia, Florida. The crop is still hand plucked. Seasonal workers fill their buckets to take to the weighing stand, then head back to pick a new row. Lina Knight is still in awe of the path she has chosen. 20 years ago, did you um, imagine yourself being here raising, you know, growing blueberries? Or? Not, not a chance, <laughs> not a chance. How did you get here? What brought you here? I was standing at Home Depot and I, it was pouring down rain and there was this other, another couple beside me and I was waiting to run out to my truck and I struck up a conversation being chatty and I said, what do you do? And they were blueberry growers. And I was like, really? And so the more we talked about it, I came home and I called Susan and I said, I think we should, <laughs> I think we, we should grow blueberries. Blueberry Let's farm. give it a try. <laughs> That's how she and longtime friend Susan Wechardine founded Lina Berry Farms with five acres and a dream. Even though neither woman had ever really worked the fields. As long as I can remember, we always went out to the farm as kids and, you know, knew all the labor workers and just, you know, I was always exposed to it. Um, never really did any of the work until this farming, but always around animals and just loved being outside. Grew up in a little country town, so I was exposed to it. I used to show horses, but for growing anything, no, zilto. This year's blueberry crop is not so fruitful due to a warmer than normal winter. There's also increasing competition among local berry growers, and as a result, Lina continues to expand her acreage and improve the crop. All of these we propagated in our greenhouse. We're licensed to do the jewels and the um, emeralds for the cultivars and so all of these were grown in our greenhouse and then we bring them out as little liners. So the birds that you said they come in in the afternoon? They um, come in as soon as they wake up from their roost and they'll get into the trees and they're federally protected so you just have to do firecrackers. She just shot the firework to clear birds out of the trees here, birds that come here to eat the fruit and they have to get them out of, out of the trees around here so they shoot these fireworks off. It's pretty cool. They're like little cedar wax wings, they're little birds. Um, and you'll see, if, I mean, if you've got 15, 20, it doesn't really matter, but when you got a flock of a thousand, and it's like a black cloud, just, and they'll come in and they'll just flutter and just eat away. Mm -hmm. So you just bang these and it keeps them flying. Then they get tired and they're like, well, maybe this is not the farm to be at. The women also have a few cutting horses, dogs, and a small herd of cattle. And they do love their girls, who they visit daily to collect a few fresh eggs. Come on, girls. They're working to build a chicken truck so they can move the birds regularly to provide them fresh grass and a new place to scratch. They found the plans for this on Google. And so they, they created their own process to put it together and they're working on finishing up the edges here and then they'll put some wheels on it so that they can move it around when the weather doesn't cooperate. I didn't tell you that I was gonna help when I came here, did I? <laughs> That's not part of your job description. <laughs> this is great, you're doing great. I don't you, should, you should see all the ones I had that I messed up. You know, people would say, oh, you retired. And I was like, no, I just am changing my job. Jealous is probably not the word, envious is a better word, that they're envious of it, they're, they're that, you know, it sounds like a lot of fun. Doing something completely different, and boy, I mean, I wish I had guts to do that. We both worked our, both jobs at the same time to do it. So it was, it was a lot of hard work, but it's worth it. Yeah, and I think if the truth be told, a lot of people that are in the corporate sector really don't like what they're doing, even if they're paid a lot of money it's just it's not a lifestyle that it's stressful it's um, it's not where everybody really really wants to to be and they look at what we're doing and it's just um, you know it's what they want to do after spending the day with these women I will be the first to tell you that they work hard harder than they've ever worked in their lives but it's good work in fact as Lina says, it's the best work. They have made mistakes along the way, but have learned how to keep their farm not only going, but growing.